The latest legal way to get high looks like cocaine and can cause even worse side effects. Bath salts are sold over the counter at stores all across Central Texas, but they're not meant to be used in the bath. We looked into these drugs when a mom and dad contacted us, wanting other parents to know what bath salts are doing to their family. And I get a call from him one morning. Dad, Dad, I need you. I need your help. I need your help. Daryl and Angela Swan recall the day their oldest son called, not acting like himself. He had snorted bath salts and thought SWAT teams were at his apartment door. He thought they were the government. You know, he thought that they were the guys that carry people away in the night. It induces like a paranoid schizophrenic state is the best way I can describe it. And there's no talking to the person inside. It's not like you're talking to somebody who's on a drug. It's like you're talking to somebody who went insane. That was the Swan family's first encounter with a powdery synthetic substance that looks like cocaine that just about anybody can get their hands on. We bought this small container of bath salts easily at this Austin smoke shop for about 35 bucks. You can also find it at some gas stations and even online. Users snort it, drink it, some inject it. Dr. Ross Tobelman runs the ER at Scott and White Healthcare in Round Rock and says the name may sound relaxing, but the drug is actually a toxic stimulant. Uh, yes. People can have heart attacks from it. People can have respiratory arrest from it. People can die from this. People can go psychotic you know, and go crazy from this stuff. I was fully prepared to walk into a situation where he was going to harm himself or one of us in the apartment. I had already prepared myself for that. That's how delusional this drug made him. The Texas Poison Center Network is seeing more cases of those severe reactions. In the last year, 49 people have called wanting help after taking bath salts, 38 of those just in the last three months. Health officials worry if the drug gets more popular, they'll see more families like the Swans walking into unfamiliar territory. I want parents to know how horribly painful it is to see your child go through this um, and to start the ball rolling to get this made illegal, make it harder for anybody to get it. It is, it is devastating to a family. Now, the Swans told us they're afraid their son will keep using bath salts. At most shops, you have to be 18 years old to buy them. They're sold under many brand names, and we have a list of them on our online report at KXAN.com. Also, you'll find data from the Texas Department of State Health Services explaining more about what bath salts really are. Houston Representative Garnett Coleman is filing a bill to ban bath salts here in Texas. North Dakota, Louisiana, and Florida have already made them illegal, and other states are considering the same thing. And a quick update now on another synthetic high we've reported in the past. The Drug Enforcement Agency just today banned five chemicals and the fake pot products that use them for at least a year. The chemicals were in herbal products, often advertised as K2 or spice. The DEA used its emergency authority to make owning and selling any product containing the chemicals illegal.